up? My name's Garrett Mickley, and I host the Learn to Learn with Garrett Mickley podcast, which you can check out at learntolearn.club. But today, I am showing you a video about productivity. And a couple weeks ago, back in episodes three and four, which you can check out at learntolearn.club forward slash E003 or E004, I talked about productivity and I talked about different ways you can use your time more efficiently to learn more efficiently because we're all really busy and we all have a lot to do. After I recorded that or those episodes, I realized gamers are the best at productivity. They are so productive because whether they're competitive gamers and they want to have the upper hand against their competition or whether they're like me, they're non-competitive, but they just want to play when they're, you know, brain dead from all the work they've been doing that week and they just need a couple of hours to relax on a Saturday afternoon, but they want to get as much done as possible in their games, they got to be productive. You got to learn hotkeys and stuff like that. And one thing is the technology that's come out in the last couple of years for gaming, especially from this company Razer, R-A-Z-E-R, they came out with a bunch of cool peripherals and my favorite one is the Razer Naga Epic mouse, which you see here on screen. This is also in the Razer Synapse software where I can like set what things are. So what this has is it has macros, and those are the best. So you can set, you can set up these different profiles, and a di uh, one profile has eight different key maps, and I'm pretty sure the amount of macros you can have are infinite, and there's 19 buttons total between this whole thing. Let me show you side view. So we've got one through 12 on the side, and then we've got these seven here, so whatever that equals. Um, that's 19, right? Yeah, so <laughs> uh, quick math. Um, so we've got the macros here, and I've got just a couple macros here to show you what I'm, I'm doing. I'm setting this up right now because what happened was uh, um, I had a job come in where I needed to set up these pages and there's one for every state in the United States, plus there's some for Canada, plus there's some for other countries, which means I'm going to be really busy working on each of these pages. And each of these pages came to me looking like this, right? So it's just a big long list of, of information. I need to make all of this information look like this. This is the only one I have done so far, and I did this one by hand and it took me a very long time to get everything just right. Now that I have a template and I know exactly what I need to do for each page, it's gonna be a little bit easier because I can set up macros. So what I did was I set up just some basic macros, copy, cut, and paste, and then this one here, I'm gonna show you. Um, this is the one that's probably gonna save me the most time. And basically what, what one thing I need to do is, as you can see here, I've got every phone number on here is clickable or tappable if you're on a mobile device and will automatically call it. It's the, the TEL um, part of uh, anchor text, link text, that you can make them um, callable. So I wanna do that for every single number here and I don't want to have to type all this out or type it all out once and then copy and paste it because I have to change the number in every single one anyway because it's, it's different for each number. So this is something that took me a freaking long time. Luckily, I have this mouse that's gonna cut down that time so much. So I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do that. So I know that I, I know everything that needs to be typed out and I know where it needs to be typed out. And I'm going to show you, I've already got the macro figured out, but I'm going to delete it and I'm going to re-record it right in front of you just to show you, because not that this is something you specifically are ever going to need to do, but just because I want to show you how this mouse works and how awesome it is and how you'll be able to set it up to do the things that you need to do, whether it's for learning or work or leisure. So here we go. I'm going to go, I come in here and I click here and boom, it takes everything I need and puts it right in there. So I can do that on every single phone number here. Boom. So, you know, obviously you can tell it takes a couple of seconds to do, but it's a lot faster than if I was doing it by hand. And all I have to do is go down and click click down the line. In fact, oh, I can't do it twice. Okay, so we just learned something new here. I can't do it, I have to wait for it to finish. Um, but that's reasonable because it's basing everything on what I did because um, it's just following what I did 
while I recorded. So I've got it all the way set back to normal. So I'm gonna show you over here, this is the macro that I have set up and it's pretty long because there's a lot I need to do, but it doesn't matter how long it is because it's gonna be really easy to set up and then I'm never gonna have to do it again because it's already gonna be set up. So I'm gonna hit record and it's gonna delete everything here and then start fresh. And I'm gonna show you, um, basically you can set record delay, which means what, however long it takes you to do something, it's gonna put that delay in here. So you see over here it says 0.00 second delay. Um, I use that for this because it's faster because otherwise if you keep the recorded delay on it's going to do it exactly as long as it took you to type it in the first place which means you're not really saving any time you're just saving your own energy but if you set it to no delay then it'll get rid of the delay and it won't count it so that's what we're going to do with this because we want it to be as fast as possible there is a reason to have the delay and you can have a you can have a set delay a specific delay too but um those are more for gaming things. If you ever see a need to do that, then by all means use it, obviously. But anyway, so let's get to this. So we're going to hit record, and then it's going to count this click here, and we're going to go in and remove it later because that click doesn't matter. So I know that I need to type in this. And then I need to copy all of this. And honestly, what I should have probably done was do end of line instead of uh, hitting the arrow button, but whatever. So do this, and then I need to type this in. And then I need to come all the way back into here, add that space, and then come here, paste it, delete that, delete that and delete that and then click back into here so that I can hit stop. So there's a couple of things we need to clean up now. Just need to clean out those, the first left button and the last left button. So there's that one and then I'm gonna get rid of that and I don't need that delay so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we don't need that, we don't need that, and we don't need that, but oh yeah, we don't need that. So. Now we've got this macro set. Let's test it. Oh, let me show you where to put it first. Okay, so you come back to your mouse over here, and you go to Customize. Make sure you're on the right profile and the right key map. And you come in here, and here you can pick, well, first, first what's gonna happen is it's gonna say default, which is the number here, because I'm using the number four for this. So you come in here, and you look at it, and it looks like this. You hit the number four, or whatever one you want, come down here and go to macro. As you can see, there's a bunch of different things you can do here, but we're just using macro for this. So then you wanna put uh, which macro you want, make sure you do the right one because earlier I was having problems and then realized that I had selected copy when what I wanted was paste. That was embarrassing. So don't, don't do that. And then over here, you can actually create macros right here in it if you want, um, but I like to do it the other way just because I find it easier to go through and edit everything if you need to change something real quick. So let's come in here, make sure we've got the right one. And then the playback option is really cool. You can have it play once, which is what I mostly do. There's play multiple times, and then you can set a multiple times. There's the play while assigned key is pressed, um, which means as long as you hold down the button, it'll keep, keep doing whatever the macro is. And then there's toggle continuous playback on off using assigned key. So let's say, I needed to run something that would run till the end of the file. Like I know exactly how many lines it's going to be for each thing. Like let's say if if for some reason, and this isn't this way, but if this was set up where um, every number was exactly the same amount of lines from the last one, I could set it to automatically do the macro every X amount of lines and then come in here and do toggle continuous hit the button, walk away, and it would run all the way to the end of the file and then keep running at the end of the file. But then I could hit the button to stop it and then just delete whatever was extra. Um, and that's just an example if that's ever the kind of thing that you need to do. Um, there's been times where I've needed to use that and I used to use the macros in Notepad++, which is great if you use Windows, but I use a Mac now. So I don't have Notepad++ and I haven't found something, like I, I guess I use Sublime Text now, which may have a plugin for macros and stuff, or maybe it has them built in, I haven't looked, but I prefer the mouse now anyway. 
So having macros that run till end of file, basically you can set that and then just hit the button and walk away. But we're gonna do play once. Okay, so we've got it all set up. So I can come in here and I'm gonna do here and it, there we go, it works. Next line. All right, you notice the number, because it, it copies it right from there. So it does everything we did in the order we did it, except a little bit faster. One more thing I wanted to show you, totally forgot, adding this in later. Um, this, all of these macros are actually synced to your account with Razor. So if I'm, I'm on my MacBook right now, if I need to use the iMac at my office, all of these macros are synced up. So all I need to do is just bring the mouse or buy a second mouse to keep at the office. I don't, I just keep one mouse and I carry it around in my um, bag. But I can, um, you know, log into my Razer Synapse, which is the software here where you set everything up, log into it from my account, and all of my macros are synced. So um, that's super convenient. It makes it even better for people who work from multiple computers. Cool, huh? All right, so I'm going to put all of the links that you need down in the description of this, um, this uh, video. So you can actually uh, pick up the mouse on Amazon. Hopefully there will be a deal running when you decide to pick it up. I, the only reason I don't recommend going to the Razer website is because the Razer website pretty much never runs deals unless you're on their mailing list, which is cool too. But Amazon is pretty much always cheaper when it comes to buying gaming stuff. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me, uh, garrett at learntolearn.club. That's G-A-R-R-E-T-T -T at learntolearn.club like CLUB, like club sandwich, or a club that you would join. And um, if you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions. And thanks for, um, thanks for watching, and Happy New Year. I hope you have a super productive New Year.